Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Mega Aquarium where we're cracking on with our awesome little aquarium here. It's going really well so far. We're just doing working our way through some quests uh, and having some fun. So if you go on to enjoy this video, please let me know by clicking on the like button. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, all you have to do is click subscribe. So Daisy Star pol Polps, I'm not sure about that one to be honest with you, um, but it's a nice soft coral. So we can now pick our next research. We can go back to rank six as well. Thank you to everyone who's pointed that out for us. Uh, I want the freaky starfish, I think. What was the rank six one? Just a pretty standard fish. A uh, few issues, but overall, I'm going to go for the marbled serpent starfish. Okay, so we're going to turn this one in here into our coral one. So let's come out of there for one second. That's going to be the next coral. But first of all, where um, has that? There we go. Daisy Star Soft Coral. Yeah, you. So we should. Let me just double check. Are you the right. You're warm or cold or what? Yeah, warm. So we should be able to go. Boom. Nice. Keep you quite easy. The last one then, here. Uh, it's a deal. I'll take it. And we'll put him in here. Boom. There we go. And they do a great job. They're loving the coral. We might as well put that one down there because we've got it. Nicely done. What are you standing on there for, you little weirdo? Get down. Okay, cool. So that was that That was that was coral mission done, which is nice. So we're now on our way to getting uh, 2,000 prestige. Let's have a look if there's any more uh, of these. We have clownfish for sale. Five clownfish for sale. Um, we've got uh, three horse-eyed jack, three pie-crust crabs, and three mirror... Anthea, okay, so do you, uh, six of those, sorry, you you do shoal, um, you are six and you don't get any bigger, I'm tempted to get you, oh you're cold crabs, okay, cold crabs, let's see, um, this is our cold tank, right, now I've got a feeling we've got stuff in here that will eat crabs, um, warning, will eat or damage crustaceans with size 4 or less. Uh, what about you? Eat or damage crustaceans with 5 or less. Um, are you And the starfish, you're alright, aren't you? You're starfish, that's fine. Okay, so what we could do, I guess... Uh, oh, a stingray, look. Ooh, they're big. They're gonna need a. They're gonna need a big thing. They got to size forty. Wow. Okay. Um. Let's have a look. Where's these? Where's these crabs just gone? Hold on. Pie crush crab. You start at size five, but you do grow. So we could stick you in a little cold tank somewhere and then move you. We could stick you in a little cold tank, and then move you to here when once uh whence you have grown. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, let's do that then. Let's open up this area a little. Okay. And let's put a, uh, a wall in here. Okay, and then we'll have a little outside just a little basic tank. There we go. Okay. And hope we can uh, get you. Let's have a look. Do you need anything particular? Um, you need crustaceans. That's fine. You're armoured. Oh, hold on. Armoured has the effective size of 10 whilst calculating whether a predator can eat it. Oh, so no, they won't eat it then. Oh, in that case, it's a deal. Get here, crabbies. I think we should just be able to go one, two, three. And you are going to hang out. Let's have a look at you. Hold on, let's zoom right in. Let's get a first person view into the water. Hold your breath, folks. Yeah, crabbies. Loving it. I hope you don't eat stuff. I, I should have probably checked that you weren't going to kick off, are you? are you? Let me have a look at you. Um, you will, you will eat, you may eat or damage starfish. Oh, rubbish. Uh, okay. Um, I'm tempted to get rid of the starfish because I really like the starfish. I really like the crab, sorry. Um, yeah, starfish, you're going to go. We're going to, we're going to sell you. Okay, so. We'll get starfish elsewhere in like a, a feely, a feely tank. Ah, they were filtering the thing a little, so that's fine. We can we can get a, a new filter in. Protein skimmer, we have one already, but we can sell the one we've got. Build a bigger one. 
How's that? Beautiful. Okay. Crabbies are in. You can go now. We don't need you. Bye. Okay. Um, so we need a... Let's have a look. Have we got any quests? Come on. What have we got? What have we got? Who wants us? Here we go. Active swimmers group observation. Um, and we've got some humpback snappers for sale. So lots of fish for sale. Um, but we, what we really want is actually they just give what they just give money. So that's no, that's we're not really struggling for cash. What I really want is something that'll increase our base prestige. But I don't think we have anything that available. I do like the idea of getting some stingrays in here though. I think it's time we did a walk through tank. Oh, we've got a message. What are you? Porcupine Puffer has grown. Ah, good for you, Porcupine Puffer. Hope you have a lovely time being big. Uh, okay. I'm going to grab this out to here. I'm going to grab the wall and put it in there. I'm going to get all these naughty little people and put them back here where they belong. Come on, with your floaty book. Get back here, you lot, with your floaty books. There we go. Okay, good. Um, right, so tank. Uh, walking through tank. Small tunnel tank is what we want. And um, we're going to swing it round, and we're going to put it here. Let's not go too far out. Let's go there. See, I didn't think we could do that. I'm pretty sure it didn't let us do that before. But now it seems like it has, so that's cool. People have to walk through it. That's kind of what we want. Uh, okay, so let's put in a feeding area here. We'll drag our stairs down that we can do now that we didn't think we could do, or I didn't think we could do at least. Okay, um, you are hooked up to two tanks already, so you are going to need your own uh, set of uh, set of pumps and stuff. But that's fine because, to be honest with you, you're a pretty big tank, so you're going to need a hell of a set, a bit of gear. So let's start boxing you out. First of all, you're going to come down to there, and for sake of clarity, we're going to actually block you off there as well. This is the area we're going to work on today. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Okay, let's get some cool paints in. Um, what have we been going for here? We've been doing uh, harbour with a wood finish. And I actually really quite like how that works out. So let's do that. Okay, and same on that side, pretty much. Uh, wood. This will probably change eventually, but... For now, it gives us the um, the ability that we want. Yeah, good. Okay, happy with that. Yeah, all right, good. So let's have a little think then. We want to get some fish in here, first of all. I really want these. We can't mess it up because we can only buy these. They're going to get big. They're going to eat crustaceans. We've got a... Uh, Freaky starfish unlocked, so that's good. Um, they're hot. They need... They're greedy. They're hot and greedy. They're me. Uh, they go up to 40. Okay, and they will eat crustaceans. So we can't have crabs in here, basically. But I would like it. Yes, please. I would like both of you in here. One, two. Okay, and we could pick the next research. I mean, we might as well pick that one. Okay. So let's just pour, let's just freeze the game for a little. There we go. So water temperature is too low. That's fine. Now you will eat crabs, but you won't eat starfish. So we could technically have some starfish in here. Although I'm not really sure starfish really work well for this kind of tank. I don't think they do, do they? I would love, I would love a shark, but I don't think we actually really have proper sharks. We have turbots. They're cold. We have... Um, there was a shark that we could buy, but I don't think that's here. We've got clownfish. They're going to go in so their own little thing. Horse-eyed jack. Let's, look, let's have a look at, look at you then, see what you're all about. You go up to 27. You're pretty big. You're warm. You're a bully. And you will also eat fish or crustaceans. Now, these that we've got in here are already too big for you to eat. They're nine. Um, and they won't eat anything. So we could have you in there. We could have three horse-eyed jacks in there as long as... They're also, they class as active swimmers as well. So, oh, I'll tell you what, let's let's take that active swimmers quest. Why not? We'll make this an active swimmers town because it's huge. I'll gladly help you with your study. 
three different active swimmers. Um, oh, they don't. They do have to be in the same tank, I think, though. A horse side jack for sale. It's a deal. We're going to take you. Okay, we're going to put you in here. One, two, three. Well, you do go pretty big. Okay. Mirror Anthea, are you an active swimmer? No, but you shoal. You're size six. And dislikes lights. That's fine. We could get you in here as well. Um. What else have we got available? Is that it? Oh, there. Humpback Snapper. Are you an active swimmer? There's an active swimmer. Nice. Okay, what's your issue? Size with fish with three or less. You're already size 10, so you're fine. Uh, crustaceans. There's no crustaceans in there. Um, you need to be at least three of you. All right. We can, we can have you in here. There we go. Let's get you one, two, three. Um, okay, so the only one we didn't get in here was you. Um, you could go in here, but let's let's first of all let's concentrate a little bit more on active swimmers. What have we got that's an active swimmer? Let's have a look. We're looking for the little image um, of a fish in a tank. Come on, what have we got? What have we got? Who's an active swimmer? I don't think we have a third active swimmer, other than the ones we've already got somewhere in another tank. So let's go and find. Let's go and find what our other active swimmers are. So are they in here? Is it you? It's not you. Uh, you're all the same fish, you aren't you? Yeah. Okay. So it's not you. In here, it's got to be one of the larger tanks. Um, you're a wimp. Are you an active swimmer? No, you're a wimp as well. This is our wimp tank, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I remember now we built a wimp a wimp tank. Wimp tank! Loving all the wimpies. Okay, you could you are gonna get a lot bigger, wow. Oh no, that's the tank, sorry. I thought you were gonna go up to 60. Wow, wait. Okay, are you an active swimmer? No. No, you're pretty happy how you are though. We'll eat big fish, that will. Okay, so not you. Active swimmer's here, is it you? Yes, active swimmer, but you're size five. So we can, we could move you over to the big tank and then put those new fish in there, but you're size five, so let's just double check nothing in here will eat fish smaller than five. Um, crustaceans with three or less, fish with three or less, and fish with four or less. Awesome. So we can take all of you, six of you, yeah, okay, so let's move one, Two, three, four, five, six. We can click you all, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now it's telling me that that has no issues with filters and stuff, but I'm pretty sure that's rubbish. It's going to still tell me that you, there we go. It all comes back when I right click. Okay, so we need lots of food. That's fine. Uh, water temperature is too low, of course. Um, all right, let's let's sort these out then. So let's move our food over here. Whoops. And you. What other food do you need? You need green, shrimp, supplement, and... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Green, sand, sorry, herring, and supplement. I don't think we've got any herring at all yet. So, let's sort that out. Herring dispenser. There we go. The others we'll keep an eye on. All right, and then let's get a pump in here so we can start. Um, we can start really fi fixing fixing this thing for for good running. So power pump, here we go. Um, stick it right here out of the way, and it's going to just do you for now. All right. Zoom out a little so we can see. So we're going to start with a mega heater. Where are you, mega heater? There we go. So we can do that with you, and. It's still not hot enough. Wah, 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 wah. Um, okay, what about a large heater as well then? Is that going to be enough? Okay, so large heat is enough. Good. Um, nowhere near enough filtrations, which is fine because we can now do a large filter. We can do a nitrate filter. And we can do... Sorry, we can do a large protein skimmer. And we can do... A nitrate filter. Let me just double check 
Yeah, no, I was just seeing what that power double filter did, but it's not it's not what we want. That's not what we want either. We want one of those. Oh, it's still not enough. Um, one more of them. There we go. And we need 30 plants in there. Okay. So what gives us good? That gives us plus three for a space of four. That gives us plus two for a space of one. That gives us plus four for a space of two. So it's between the kelp and the feather butter that gives us the best uh, best usage of the space. But I'm going to go for copious kelp. Because if you've been watching this series, you will know by now that I am a huge kelp fan. Although we are going to struggle to fill this without it looking a little silly, I think. Because it's going to be humongous kelp. I mean, it's pretty much it. Oh, there we go. That's not. That's actually not too bad, is it? Um, let's get a few other bits in there, though. Let's get some uh, live rocks. I'm a big fan of the live rockage. It's going to help with the filtration a little as well. Okay, and just for like's sake, I think we should probably get a few bits in here as well. What have we not got? We haven't got an ancient gate. Let us get a mighty ancient gate in here. Yes. Loving it. All right, loving it. Okay, well, that's good to go. Last thing then, I want to get a uh, palm tree, just because I think it would fit really nicely here and sort of funnel people towards the entrance as well. Let's do a bit of uh, beach work under here. There we go. Like that. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to get some drinks. Uh, drink suspensers and stuff here. So we've got a fizzy drink machine and a chocolate machine. We'll get a trash can right up by it as well. And I think we're probably good to open there. We've got to feed them. But other than that, we're laughing, I think. Uh, let's come around here and get rid of these bits of wall. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy to run with that. Okay, let's unpause it. We should be doing this. We are. We've got different active swimmers in there now. So we'll let that run for time. This is now an empty tank, so we're going to fix that by buying that other... Yeah, six. Uh, they shoal. They don't need loads of thingies, but they do need supplements... And orange pellet. I'm going to take those. I'm going to try and have a go at putting them in here. What's up with them? Low water quality. That's fine. We can get a bit of extra water quality on there. We can. Hello. New combined thing. That's good. Let's get some balloons then. Uh, what we can do is we can stick a little nitrate filter on the top there. Just going to up that water quality a little. Otherwise, they're good to go. That's going to bring us in some science points. Lovely. All right. People are walking through. They're going to get a little stuck. But we don't really mind that, do we? We haven't put any arrows on the floor for a little while. Let's, um, although they're not particularly useful yet until they uh, get right around to the other side. I do want to keep remembering to put these down. Like this. That's why. That's kind of why we've done a, a too wide floor. There we go. I think. I think we're going to be able to do quite a neat little uh, little unit here. I think we're going to be able to come around here with a couple of tanks. Uh, we've still got jellyfish and Nemo's, possibly prize attractions. Really, you know, jellyfish. Um, as much as Nicola hates them, <laughs> uh, a lot of people are big fans. Uh, although a few people did uh, did side with her when I mentioned that she that she hated them in a previous video, and they were like, "Yeah, me too." Can't stand the jellyfish. Um, I tell you what, that's a good question actually. Let me know if you got a favourite type of fish. Um, for me, my personal favourite type of fish is um, uh, any Placostomus or, or a similar uh, catfish family or any like anything that sucks to the side of the tank. Oh no, what's happening here? Hunger. Ah, you might not have your food you need. Mussels, cockles, supplement. Uh oh, let's get some food in here. What are you? Your muscles. Hold on. Uh, did we get to 1500? Boom. don't actually think that unlocked anything for us. Newly unlocked. Pacific paints. Nice. Egg rack. Actually capsules are floating together. Enable this seaweed to stand vertically and reach as much light as possible. 
a lantern and a skull. Nice. And now this is all available to research? Wow. Let me see. Rank 8. Oh, wow. That's really opened it all up. Okay, well, first of all, we still need to fi fix our, uh, our little dudes here. Uh, wolf fish for sale, nice, and surgeon fish for sale. Also, look at this thing. Cold water wolf fish. You will eat crustaceans with size two or less. You need some caves. So other than that, I, you're good to go. I'm gonna take you. It's a deal. Come here. You're gonna go in that big old cold water one. There we go. We need some more caving. That's fine. But first, we re we seriously need to fix the food on this thing. Right. Hold on. Let's just slow down a little bit. Mussels are going in. No, cockles are going in, sorry. Mussels, supplements, and... Ah, crab. Oh, God, what eats crab? I feel bad that I've put... Cra <laughs> There's big crabs in there now. They're big enough to not get eaten, I suppose. Crab dispenser needs to go in. Um, cockles dispenser needs to go in. No, we've got cockles. Mussels dispenser needs to go in. There we go. Um, and a supplement. Is there a supplement nearby, or should we get one over here? Supplement cabinet. There we go. Hopefully that's okay. Uh, we need some filtration on that one. Let's get a little nitrate reactor on it. Is that enough? Ooh, 71 of 75. Tell you what then. We're going to help ourselves out with some live rocks. Is that going to help? No, it doesn't actually make that number go, does it? Uh, what can we do here then? i tell you what we can do. We can move... Right, let's move this to there. Keep it joined up to that. Let's sell that and that. And let's put in one of those ridiculous things we've just done. There and there. There we go. That should, that's a ridiculous size. It should smash it out of the park. Okay, now all we need now is a bit more of caving. So, eight uh, should do it nicely. Okay. It's getting a bit squished in there now, but overall should be all right. Task is currently assigned to Harry. Nobody, nobody. Okay, let's hope that fills up. In the meantime, we're going to take on another couple of staff. Um, thank you, by the way, to the people who pointed out that you can edit staff routes in the end. I didn't think you could, but it turns out you can. But I'm, to be honest with you, I'm going to let them be... Uh, floaters, alright, they're just gonna have a little potter. But that's a big old tank now. You've gotta be you've gotta be sorted in there. We need to get these crabs fed. What where are they? What do they actually eat? Crustacean. No, no, that's not what they eat, that's what they are. Mussels. Observation concluded. That was the uh the active swimmers one. It missed its last feeding of mussels. So Let's um let's watch let's watch Harry do his stuff, okay? We need that number there, we need that one there. Isla's are leveled up. Feeding Isla, you're gonna be awesome at feeding. Okay, getting fed, nicely done. No, that's the one we need. Before the end of the day, please. Yes, it's being done now. Awesome. So crabs are gonna get fed. And they're all super happy. Loving it. Any other problems? Doesn't look like it. Let's pick a new animal. Um, let's get rid of our level 6 one before we start working on some good stuff. Uh, or new stuff at least. Sorry, it's not that they're not good. Uh, hunger as well. Schooling Bannerfish is at risk of dying because it's starving. What do you eat, pal? Uh, three days without any green pellets. Let's get some green pellets up in your grill. Here, our lady's doing it now. Alright, maybe those two staff are what we needed to really sort this out. I think it probably was. Okay, cool. Let's um, let's just do the next little bit. I just want a little tiny Nemo tank. It's going to be pretty simple. Um, I want some little Nemos. We're going to go for... Uh, God, that was super quick. Um, okay, what else do we want then? Active swimmer. Oh, now you turn up. Oh, a tang, yes. Um... Oh, that's annoying that you need quite a big space because you are what I would put in with Nemo's, to be honest, because you're a dory. Um, eight. But otherwise, 
You need a tank of 48 or more. All right, well, let's go for you and let's let's build a hopefully build a big enough tank. Oh, there's 36. I see. Okay, so Oh, wow. That stuff's lying, isn't it? Let's get the coffee machine or not. 48 it said. We actually haven't got a 48. Um Does it tell us once it's built what that number is? I don't think it does. Huh. Okay, maybe maybe Notador is then. We'll just go for a regular um, regular observer tank. But what I want to do with you is put you here. Yeah, Alright, put you here. So anywhere... It doesn't actually... Yeah, there's no there's no sign saying how big it is. So I'm guessing it's it's uh, it's that original size and, and it doesn't change. So I'm going to put you there. We're actually going to bring the wall forward a little to help you out. And then we'll paint you all up. Let's have a look at this new paint. Where's it gone? Oh, was it un unlockable? No, Pacific paint. There we go. Um, feeding. We want you all good at feeding. Pacific paint. Oh, I like the rock. Oh, that's a good rock texture. Oh, nice. Okay, well, we'll maybe use that next time. I I, I quite like the the uh, the simplicity of the of the color scheme that we're doing on this version, to be honest with you. But I do like that rock, so we'll most definitely use that next time. Let's color all this in for now. There we go. And down here. Good, good, good. And you nearly need to be coloured as well. Okay, good. You've levelled up as well. Let's get you a bit of feeding because feeding really does seem to be the problem that we're having at the moment. Oh, we've got loads of mail. Let's slow the hell down a minute. Let's just calm uh, passions because we are scooching ahead. Shipwreck paint a little bit there to come and see the door, the uh, the Nemo's. And I'm hoping it's stuff for stale or growing. Yes, growing. Crabs have grown. Uh, horse Eye Jack has grown, Stingrays have grown, and Horse Eye Jack has grown. Now, hopefully that tank is still big enough. No. The temperature is now too low, and the filter's too low. Is, that, is something broke here? Yes, it's being fixed, though. So you should, you guys should be okay. All right, so keep it up. Although you, you are telling me that you're still not... You're still not... Um, let's have a look. When this gets fixed, what does that temperature do? Still not enough filtration. Okay, um, let's just pause a second then. Let's see if we can make this a little bit better. Let's go and get rid of you and you. Let's move you to there and move you to there. And then we should be able to put in two of these. Increase this filtration enough. Yeah, good stuff. Right then, what are we doing here? First of all, we need to get rid of this wall at the back because it's a bit of a mess. There we go, double wall for no particular reason. There we go. And we'll put in our... Uh, might as well put it there. Make the best use of the space. Okay, now we could actually just go and um, add this tank to that and it's going to be incredibly over the top, but why not? We're using the pump anyway. And we want to go to... Uh, no, it's to purchase, wasn't it? Clownfish. Clownfish for sale. It's a deal. Five clownfish. What a bargain. Here we go. Get yourselves in there, little clownfish. It's not hot enough. How how does that need 344 degrees heat? No, because that one needs 344 degrees heat. Right, okay, so I want to take you off right click to disconnect there we go okay that was i was gonna say that clownfish need it boiling basically um we're probably best setting up a smaller setup for this <laughs> all right so let's do that with a we'll use a basic pump and we'll, we're going to work a little bit backwards here because what we'll probably do is put this up to a second bigger tank here um which is cool if that's what we need let's get a large double filter on that should probably do most of the work for us, apart from the temperature, which should be done with one of you, I reckon. Perfect. I was going to say, it's quite a small tank. 
Uh, these regular orange pellets, that's fine. There's plenty of those around. Let's make it look good. I'm tempted to put coral in there. Um, it will mean we have to light it up, though, which is doable. Let's have a look at what coral we actually have available. Um, there we go. We have the frilled anemone, but that's cold, so we can't do that one. We have the bubble tip anemone. I don't think we have any of those yet. No, we don't. Okay, so soft coral uh, does grow, but that's fine. It needs 10 and Artemia to eat. Okay, cool. So we'll have a couple of you in. Uh, what's up with you? Light? Yeah, that's fine. We can certainly add light to you. Power light 10. There we go. And otherwise, you're happy? Good. Let's get some more rocks and stuff to kind of make it look a little bit more full. There. And then let's put some of those... Where's those new things? Or do we have to unlock them? No, egg rack. <gasps> look at this. I want to see it. Oh, I'm loving it. That is a nice looking bit of grass. Cool stuff. Okay, so you're good. We just need to put some new food down for you, which is going to be a bit ridiculous. There it is, Artem. Yeah, let's put it in here. Because you are the only guys, I think, who are eating that right now. Okay. Play the game. Otherwise, I think we're doing okay. So we filled out a good few areas. Our regal tang is now available. Um, I'm going to go for um, Atlantic mackerel. I'm going to see if I can maybe put some more fish in here. We've currently got 131 of 200. So even though it's looking pretty full, we can get some more fish in there. So I think Atlantic mackerel, as long as it doesn't hate stuff, it's a wimp. We may have bullies in there and it shoals. Okay. Um, it's cockles. That's fine. They're getting cockles already. Should be able to put them in there, I think. I don't think we have bullies in here. Let's have a look. You're not a bully. You're not a bully. Um, what's going to be the most useful here? I think the large nitrate reactor, because we're getting a bit... A U-tank. don't really see the point of that just yet. Let's go for the large nitrate reactor. Um, you're not a bully, are you? No, you're not a bully. You might be a bully. No, you're not a bully. That's all that's in there, I think. All right, let's have a look. Stuff has grown. Uh, grown, grown, grown. Some it's died. How did you die? Oh. It's because these are getting bigger. Okay. Where had we put you? You're in here, aren't you? Loneliness. Ouch. We're going to have to sell you then, folks, because we can't get any more of you. Sorry. Off you pop. Chop. Alright, good. Well, that's a bit of a downer to finish the episode on, but that's what, what you're going to do. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, what's up with this now? Hunger? Needs to be fed zooplankton. It's being done. Keep on top of that, please. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop those down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link in the description. Thank you very much to all of our generous Patreons uh, who support the channel through their pledges over at patreon.com slash geekism. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.